California's grid is one of the biggest in the world and something very strange has been happening. Last week, solar energy for many hours of the day accounted for 160% of all energy on the entire grid. And as a result of there being these huge batteries that are now deployed in California, what's happening is solar in combination with batteries is basically revolutionizing the California grid. This is exactly how it is been playing out. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. It's great to see you. The new economy says that the records continue to crash in California as one of the world's biggest state grids with battery storage now playing a huge part has been soaking up enormous amounts of solar in the day, sending all the excess solar, there's a massive excess amount of solar being generated in California during the daytime, and then actually being able to use all that solar in the peak in the evenings, thanks to these enormous batteries. The stunning new dynamics, says Renew Economy, of the California grid have been emerging rapidly over this northern spring, where renewable energy records have been tumbling on an almost weekly basis, reaching a new peak of 158% of demand on Saturday, providing enough power to meet all local demand for nine hours a day or even more. Essentially, the California grid now, for most days of the week, runs almost entirely on solar. The excess supply of solar in the middle of the day and negative wholesale prices, meaning, yeah, the cost of electricity in terms of wholesale price goes below zero on many occasions now during the day, has prompted big batteries to soak up as much energy as they can in the middle of the day, which would have just gone to waste without the batteries. This sometimes accounts for up to 31% of all load. And then inject it, what they do is they then send all that energy back into the grid in the peak hours, so say 6 to 9 p.m. when everyone gets home from work, they turn on their air conditioners, etc., And that is accounting for around 30% of all supply. The California grid has been completely changed, revolutionized over the past 12 months. And it's sort of catching up to Texas. I mean, Texas has been leading North America in terms of renewable energy generation. That could change soon though, with what's happened in California. According to data collected by grid status, new records were posted on the weekend for both charging and discharging for battery storage with a record discharge of 6,523 megawatts on the Saturday of last weekend and the record 31% share of load earlier in the day. It's only gonna be a few years until renewables take over the entire grid, and I mean 100%. Coal and gas will have completely been eviscerated within five years time in California, the way things are going. A lot of that comes down to the rooftop solar. Everyday people just saying, you know what? I'm gonna install rooftop solar. And that's changing the grid enormously. Battery storage is the biggest supplier in the grid in the evening peak. Ruling the roost, says Renew Economy, from 7 p.m. to 9.45 p.m. That's the peak. And batteries are really helping keep the price of energy to, to not go, you know, to not skyrocket during those hours. From 7 p.m. to 9.30 p.m. on a Sunday, that's also a peak period as well. And that's when batteries are more becoming the number one supply of energy in California in those peak hours. The California government announced only a few days ago that new connections have taken the installed battery capacity in the state to more than 10 gigawatts. That's enormous. And at least another five gigawatts is being built this year. A lot of this is actually capable of providing around four hours of storage. But as you can see, the grid has around 10 gigawatts. It's adding another five gigawatts this year. So it's adding 50% more capacity. If California does the same thing again next year, which is likely to do so, we're going to see the entire Californian grid be renewable for, well, many months of the year, 100%. The share of battery storage is unrivaled in the world but could soon be challenged by Western Australia. And Tesla battery packs are being used in Western Australia to create the world's, well, one of the world's biggest batteries and Australia's biggest battery. It's actually going to support the grid with enormous amounts of energy. Now in Western Australia, 
there is a huge percentage of rooftop solar. And what this means is that rooftop solar in combination with batteries in both California and Western Australia, and also in South Australia, here in, here in our country, a combination of solar and batteries is basically annihilating coal and it's getting rid of fossil fuels much faster than what many experts predicted. In Western Australia, most of the remaining coal-fired generators will close within a few years and more than 1,500 megawatts and 5,000 megawatt hours of new battery capacity has been contracted. Now, the primary purpose of, this batter of these batteries is to actually shift rooftop solar from the middle of the day to the evening peak. So there's excess energy, like California, excess energy being created during the middle of the day. It's being wasted. Now, all that battery, all that extra energy will be stored in those batteries, and then it'll be used in the peak period and this will bring the price of electricity down. And the only place really in Australia over the last few months that has seen electricity prices go up is Queensland. Queensland has the least amount of renewable energy storage capacity per capita versus the rest of Australia. All the other cities have more as a percentage and the price of electricity in those cities has been actually going down slightly, but the price of electricity in Queensland where they have more coal power has been going up. So when these massive Tesla batteries actually are completed, in 2025, the share of battery storage in the evening peak in Western Australia's main grid will be even higher than what we're seeing in California. But here's the future of the world. I mean, it's so obvious that this is going to happen. It's going to play out the same way in the majority of the world because 90% of the world lives in the Sun Belt. So what California are doing, what Western Australia are doing, what South Australia are doing, installing these mega batteries and using huge amounts of solar that's going to be copied. It's being copied in many places around the world. But basically, I think the rest of the world is seeing this and saying, hey, this works. It's affordable and it makes sense. So they're replacing fossil fuels with batteries and solar. What this means though, if you get solar on your roof, you will play a part in this transition. So a lot of people feel like they're powerless. They feel like they, they can't do anything to positively influence the way the world's going, but you can. You can get your own batteries, you can get your own solar, you can get your own electric car. Everyone that does this does make a difference. Now on that note, guys, I had a, a new solar contractor come to my house today and I have solar here on the roof, but it's old solar, it's not very good. I'm gonna replace that with some massive new panels which are more efficient than ever. They're cheaper than ever here in Australia. Solar panels are so, so cheap now. They've never been cheaper, they've never been more efficient. And you can get a payback on your solar very quickly within only a couple of years. So if you don't have solar yet, I highly recommend having a look, finding out what it's gonna cost you because you'll be surprised. It might be less than you think. Thanks for watching.